Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with a place further than the universe episode number two reaction. All right, the previous episode, that was the first episode and it was a brilliant start. Um, I loved the whole, like, you know, like tackling a concept that has, I think, never been actually explored in anime. Like, you know, I don't remember any anime actually doing something where like people, like, you know, like characters go to Antarctica. I don't think so there has ever been something like this like this is quite a unique thing you know like just like how um there has been like quite a few different animals which are kind of unique in their own way um for example like you know like uh, i don't know like gambling animes these those are quite unique like we don't see much of them um then like you know like uh, grand blue was quite unique because it like you know it, it went into diving like you know like underwater scuba diving that type of stuff like these type of unique concepts like uh like whenever like some uh, an anime does these type of things i really love it and uh even if like you know this thing like you know going to a tactica maybe like this already had an anime but still we don't see these type of things much in anime and it's quite rare you know this type of a concept so i'm really glad that i'm started reacting to this I, i've always heard a lot a lot of good things about this anime and uh, i'm looking forward to what we are going to go see next okay uh the first episode we met our main characters um shirase and hinata i don't remember their first name or was it the last name uh they're, they're kind of complicated their names i don't remember them but uh yeah i'm sure I'm, I'm going to get used to their names as we see more episodes and uh we see that how um hinata hinata is a girl who always like you know wants to do something new but he does she doesn't have that courage or you know that that type of thing to actually take the step she she's always kind of a little bit afraid she want to wanted to skip school but she wasn't able to by the end of it so when she sees uh shirase a girl who is like you know uh trying to do her best to do something that no one has ever done you know like she hinata realizes that yeah this is my chance like this is my chance to uh, live my youth and do something alongside one of my friends so she actually uh, decides to go alongside uh, shirase to the expedition in antarctica they went to see the boat and you know there was just that whole thing with the money thing you know like she lost the money all that stuff you know those were all resolved and now they are kind of good friends and uh, they went to see the boat now there are a few things that i think they, they would need to tackle um number one that they will have to actually convince the person like in the boat to actually take them um uh, which is kind of difficult because they're high school students you know and number two um uh, hinata needs to convince her mother so <laughs> let's see how she, they do th those things so we'll have to see so anyways let's get started this is episode number two so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it whichever is your preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one go <coughs> mid-november oh they're going to go to australia first okay Okay. Fly from Sydney. Okay, okay. Oh. Oh, okay. So we need to go to Australia first. Yeah, I was thinking. Yeah, but I think she has some connections. Oh, wait. Civilian expedition. Oh, that's why. Okay, that's why she's trying to do. Take that opportunity. Makes sense. <laughs> that smile. Preposterous, <laughs> absurd. Oh, damn. 
<laughs> okay, wait, so we won't be able to board the Shirase from Japan. We need to go to Australia first. As far as I could understand, I'll have to check that portion out again. They were telling a lot of things. I wasn't able to keep up properly. <clears throat> okay, we still, I think we're going to get two more members with us from the opening. Two more girls. Yeah, there you go. This this girl and this girl. One of them was in the convenience store. <laughs> All right. Kabit <laughs> Kabukicho Fremantle. Okay. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, that's why. True. Damn, yeah, she needs to go to school and then part time. Oh my god, stop! Oh god. Oh, that's why the name was Kabukicho. I realized. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Your mom. No, not that, your mom. <coughs> Easy on hands. With the land gun. Go on. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> well, in the middle of class. <clears throat> um. No, no, no. <laughs> well, you need to buy a phone as well now. Great. <laughs> Rose lemon. Dip Wait, what? What type of punishment is this? Yeah. <laughs> We used to do this in uh, true elementary school. Okay. Oh my god, no game, no life. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. Depression. <laughs> what happened? Ah, oh, okay. Exactly. But unfortunately, she had, yeah, she had to write. I don't think so. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, not you, not this girl as well.
Is it? What are the references in this sh show? That was, um... Yeah, exactly. Oh my, she also didn't know. Oh, great. <laughs> what? Yeah, but still, it's like a... Hmm... I don't know... Just because of that? Hmm... Uh mm. <clears throat> Oh boy. Well yeah, like she like you know she had her past experiences where people did not believe not believe her but Told that, yeah, we're going to go with you, and then they bailed out. So, uh, it's kind of normal for her to think negatively. So, yeah. Oh, she's back. Okay. What? Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> this is better. <laughs> this girl was thinking about working in a hostess club. Like, she can't even take orders properly. <laughs> oh my god. Key money. <laughs> Damn, this girl's <is> quite <laughs> quite excited. Well But she overheard them, didn't she? Oh yeah, she overheard them. There you go, she overheard them. <laughs> She's like, wait, what? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, well... Oh my god! <laughs> Destiny. Hmm. <laughs> I'm okay. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Damn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's quite impressed, Hinata. Okay. <laughs> Springtime of youth. <laughs> You're underage. Yeah. Oh 
Oh my god, what? Alright. Okay. My probably is her mom. No. Oh my friend. <clears throat> Yeah. Wait, she has an Onigiri t shirt? Damn. <laughs> I thought so. Wait, what? From when? Oh, okay. <laughs> Blending in with the crowd. Yeah, but they were a little bit, uh, what can I say? Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> okay. Good to know. <laughs> Good to know. I think she needs to talk to her mom first. I don't know why she's not. I'm guessing she'll tell almost at the end or something. What is this? Oh, okay. Huh. Oh, this is Shinjuku. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, she's lost. <laughs> okay, here we go. Well, there you go. Yeah, Kabukucho. Why are they here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh my god. Yeah. I'm with friends. Wait, there are high school girls just standing behind them. What the hell? He just took a picture. Here in Kabukicho? What? I think something's wrong here. What? Why is the thing happening in Kabukicho at night? Um. <laughs> what? Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, she knows her? What? Oh, they know her from... Oh, she probably came before as well. Oh, that's why she was saying it couldn't be me. Yeah, okay, makes sense. Well, you're already caught. <laughs> They're like, oh, the three of them now. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what's happening? Damn.
Okay. Wait, why are they chasing her? Wow. Oh my god, you! Broken nose. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, oh my god, this is youth. <laughs> Motion. Damn, she's fast. Well, they split up again. Don't. Oh my god. She's pretty, like, what can I say? Kind of a daredevil, like, Hinata. <laughs> Just sitting down casually. <laughs> oh. All right, let's fight now. Okay, come on. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, yo! Oh! Crash! And the slipper goes. Well, now what? Up. <laughs> yeah, why were they running? Oh my god. <laughs> but to, this time it's like a civilian program? Oh. Oh my god. Well, money. Oh. That's why she was... Oh, that's why she was saving up the money. Not for the expedition, but... Oh. Okay. What? The sick. Oh wait, they went with her mom or something? No. She writes she The names are so similar I'm kind of getting confused sometimes <laughs> Nah I I doubt they would <laughs> The <laughs> way one? Yeah, exactly. You, you're not 
fit for a leader. <laughs> Oh, just the fourth girl, I think. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's the end. Okay, so yeah, that means they will have to actually go to Australia on their own in a, in a uh, plane. Wow, this ending. Did we get this ending in the previous episode? I don't think so. I don't remember this. No, this is probably the first time. Yeah, we did not get this ending. We, we heard this uh, song, but um, the visuals are not shown. It was uh, like, you know, it's kind of mixed with the episode, the ending. So yeah, this is the first time we're seeing this. <laughs> All right. So yeah, as I was saying, we need to go to Australia first. Then we have to go to, a, like, you know, we have to board Shirase and uh, go to Antarctica. But, excuse me. Okay, that's the end. Okay, one thing. Did they give... Okay, here we go. They, I, I think they actually gave us the reason why we need to go to Australia first. Here we go. Uh, so, the Shirase leaves the port in Japan in mid-November. Okay. Um, here's... Uh, south across the ocean towards Antarctica and makes a port call in Fremantle on the way. Okay. Then there will be a sub resupply and bring the expedition members on board. Oh. Okay. And then as December begins, they'll set the coast for the continent of Antarctica. I was, I was thinking like, wait, they are going from Japan to Australia. Why can't they take them from Japan? Why do we need to go to Australia first? I was thinking. Uh, then I realized, okay, that means the, the expedition will start from Australia. That's why they're not taking any members before that. So we actually need to go to Australia first, even though Shirase is leaving from Japan and going to Australia, we can't go with it because I'm, I'm sure it has some other stuff. I don't know, like maybe some like, uh, you know, like uh, transporting cargo or something. Maybe like they are going from Japan to Australia to transport some cargo or something. They're not taking any passengers or anything like that. You know, that's why even though they are also from Japan, they can't just board the Shirase and be like, take us to Australia and then Antarctica. Since we're going in the same direction, take us, uh, take, take us with you guys. They can't say that. I'm, I'm sure of it. I think so. And probably because something, you know, some reason, as I said, maybe they're transporting cargo or something. And when they are going to reach Australia, there the expedition uh, will start from there. And uh, people who are the civilians, you know, like because this time they're taking civilians with them, the civilians will probably come and all the other expedition members are going to come and uh, board the Shirase from Australia. And there, then and there is where the whole expedition is going to start. Expedition to Antarctica. So yeah, we, we can't go to Australia on Shirase. We actually need to get, get on a plane and go to Australia first. <coughs> so okay so yeah uh, in the beginning of the episode we kind of get that and <coughs> okay and then we <coughs> start talking about what we are going to do we need money first um <coughs> obviously um shirase i think she probably has her own way of like you know like earning money she always like you know goes to part time as she said she goes to part time this and that that's why uh, she would probably be able to gather enough money to buy the ticket if she works for a few more days uh, but the problem here is with um hinata because hinata she she doesn't have any part time job nothing she she actually needs to uh, do something uh, to earn money quickly 
and get the ticket so <laughs> in the beginning she was like wait so this one is <laughs> this she was trying to find some uh, part-time job and okay where it is here we go hey look this one's perfect they're hiring high school aged girls in the hospitality industry my god it's a job where you talk to boys and go on walks with them and stuff Ugh, my god okay well i don't know what the hell they are doing hiring high school girls i i, I don't think i don't know if, if that is even legal or anything like that seems pretty illegal you know like hiring high school girls i don't know like i have no idea but obviously she was talking about i'm guessing um a host club or something like that as far as my knowledge goes she was probably talking something about something like that and <laughs> and her friend i think megumi that was her name she's like oh my god you're so ignorant like you know like no you should probably not do that because and then she tells her about everything and she's like oh okay <laughs> oh my god and <clears throat> then uh you know like they, they were talking about uh you know what whether this expedition will be successful or not they were talking about a lot of technical stuff here you know they were talking about like what was happening with the people who are actually <coughs> actually doing this uh, you know like going to enter the, the people who are organizing this they're talking about all she was talking about all of that she was talking about like whether this will be even successful because you two are high school girls how are you even going to convince them and hinata said something like oh she has some connections you know and uh like even with connections like, like i can we can pretty much guess like they have some connection with them because the ship in itself is named shirase which is you know like shirase's last name so there must be some connection so and she was talking about that and then well that's when hinata says that they are actually taking some civilians this time in the expedition so it might be okay okay so then they were talking about a few technicals not technical stuff but a few information which i need to read again because i wasn't able to keep up okay um uh, social net struggles to fund civilian antarctic expedition oh funding okay okay makes sense four years ago with the completion of new stations and commissioning of a new icebreaker ship the shirase 2 and shoya shoya uh, station were sold to civilian interests but they've struggled with maintenance and operation costs the expedition members and sponsor companies involved in the last expedition three years ago were also been announcing their withdrawal one by one and the safety of participants may not be ensured as a result more and more voices uh, okay all right it makes sense i understand now i wasn't able to keep up because like you know of that of time I understand now they're having problem with funding and since they actually transferred it from you know the i'm guessing the governmental department to the civilian department or something you know the people who were the sponsors and stuff they're also came going out and this and that that's why you know if, if the, there's a problem with funding obviously there'll be a problem of safety you know because you won't have much stuff you won't have much funding so <clears throat> that's why people are a little bit concerned all that stuff and that's why megumi was saying like will this even be successful because the you know the whole thing in itself seems pretty flimsy like it's going to like crash any time like you know the whole whole what do you call it the expedition plan like you know there's not enough funding this and that so what do we do and he not was telling that okay we will do something you know like we'll have to wait for it and uh like you know i'll, I'll talk with uh shirase then you know they were discussing about the stuff shirase obviously also didn't know the whole thing about <laughs> the the thing she says like she she, she tells <laughs> uh what's her name um hinata about the same job that she was thinking about taking up <laughs> hinata tells her about what it actually is and she's like oh okay okay <laughs> oh my god she also didn't know but anyways um so yeah um <clears throat> that was that Okay, and then they were all obviously discussing this and that. Shirase was kind of a little bit you know, bothered because she thought that, oh, here we go again. Like, you know, like, as I said, like, she probably, not probably, she herself said that when previously there were quite a few people who in the beginning was like, oh, go for it. I'm going to, like, you know, cheer you, uh, like, you know, cheer you on or I'm going to join you. I'll also go. 
a lot of people said this then within a few weeks or something they bailed out and as she said she had this experience before as well so suddenly seeing you know shira say just uh not shira say hinata oh god so suddenly seeing hinata like say stuff like this she was like oh my god like not this again and she got a little bit annoyed she was like ah if you don't want to go just tell me you know and had a little you know, little quarrel and but then she came back <laughs> she realized that yeah she she was a bit harsh <clears throat> but yeah and then they were out they, they they realized that not realized but they were able to find not they but hinata was able to find a, find a part-time job in the other girl what is the other girl's name did they mention her name i forgot um let me check uh let me check her name because okay her name is tamaki mari Tamaki. Okay, Tamaki. <clears throat> okay, Tamaki. Uh, Tamaki or Mari. I don't know which I, what I'm going to call her, but you know. So yeah, uh, Mari. Uh, Mari seems a lot easier to like you know remember. Okay, Mari. So Mari, she, <clears throat> she was obviously she was a part of the like you know she she's always in the, in the in the job. She's she's like a part of the employees there. And as we knew, knew, knew that she was actually listening in on them, she was like, uh, why are you here? <laughs> Hinata's like, I need money. And she was like, wait, let me guess. Is it Antarctica? <laughs> oh, well, that was kind of, you know. And then they were talking and she was like, yeah, I'll join you guys as well. Now, her reason for actually going to Antarctica is something which is... Um, what did she say? She, she, I think she had the same opinion as uh hinata where she said something like yeah i also want to do something yeah i think so where is it okay um okay uh my current dream is to ace everything and show up everyone who goofs off in school high school and fails Yeah, but then, okay, why do you want to go to Antarctica? I have two more years before entrance exams. And when I think about how I'll spend next year knuckling down for ex Excuse me. Okay, I understand now. Okay, so her reasoning is that she obviously wants to uh, <coughs> show everyone that, yeah, like there are people who fails in high school. I'm not that girl. I'll show everyone that I can do like you know even though i have these amount of part-time jobs this and that i'll show everyone that yeah i'm i'm i'm, I'm able to do this and show everyone so <clears throat> that's what she wants to prove but before that day that main entrance exams she wants to do something i think that's her actual reason now i don't know if that is completely true or there is something else within it because i feel like this reason is a little bit uh but you know what like Hinata is also kind of the same isn't she she's also like yeah i want to like you know do something about my youth but her is a little bit different she she wants to take that step yeah that's that's hinata's thing hinata wants to take that one step and doesn't want her you know, like you know her youth her teenage years to just you know pass by her she doesn't want that she wants to do something which is hinata's main thing and um what was her name Oh my god i already forgotten mari mari yeah and but mari here is also kind of the similar thing but she is more like yeah i have some time let us do something she's more like that so i don't know if there is some other like you know hidden things within her which, which, which hidden reasons which she's still not telling us because obviously like you know this is the first time they're she's meeting everyone they're barely friends enough to actually talk about all their secrets so who knows maybe in the future we'll get to know if there actually exists an actual reason why she's trying to go to Antarctica, maybe we'll know. But if, if there's no reason, if this is really her actual reason, then it's all well and good, you know? So, yeah, we'll have to wait for that. Uh, but for me, I think, yeah, maybe, maybe, you know, maybe she, she just wants to, like, what just what he said, maybe she that's all it. Like, there's no hidden things that she's hiding from anyone. Um, maybe it's just that, yeah, you know, as she said, like, I want to, you know, prove everyone that 
you know like we can like you know uh, even though i have this my i mean many amount of part time job i can still pass off and take like you know uh, with a good result so before that i want to do something maybe it's just that but we'll see mm, i don't know why but i feel like there might be a deeper reason who knows maybe it's just me uh, but yeah okay okay so that was that and <clears throat> You know they they made made up they were talking with each other and she does say is like you know what like you know you actually need to get your money do this do that are you really sure you want to do this and she's like yeah i want to do this the so good we got another one of our members <coughs> mari <coughs> and she she then also like you know mari talks about how she felt a little different about shirase and hinata that they were you know a little bit different than the other people they're not superficial you know they are true to them and you know like how like they're not uh, most of the high school students who just like you know try to just act cool act tough and you know like stuff you know like that that's like they're not like that they they are genuinely good people with you know like uh i don't know they're, they're very what can i say open about a lot of things and um that's what she probably liked as she said she 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 liked that vibe uh and uh this is what she says i really hate the thought of blending in with the crowd that's why i couldn't handle high school i really envied you too <clears throat> what about us um hard to say the honesty i guess yeah there you go so here it is now i've been, like you know i've been getting this vibe from her as she said from her, the previous uh, part that she wants to show everyone you know that yeah she can also pass and and do better like she wants to show those people who just slack off and fail their high school that yeah like well like, you know even though i have this amount of part time jobs this amount of stuff i am so busy i can do it i can pass um this i think probably shows i don't know um she might have been i don't know like and this is just my guess you know like she might have faced some problems in her schools because she had to do so many part time jobs now i don't know why she's doing so many part time jobs did she tell her reason here i don't remember um i'm tamaki hinata okay uh no i don't think she said she didn't say the reason why she is okay this part i'm i'm, I'm going to go back a little bit because i want, i need to see something here um uh we're heading in december we need to take time off school okay mari says i'm okay i'm all good i've got money from my job and i don't go to school what really it's not that surprising is it you see them from time to time 16 year olds who don't go to school don't get the wrong idea though I am as smart as everyone. I got my high school certificate and I recently got an A rating in the mock exam. You're still in second year. That means you're going to college. My current dream is to ace everything and show up everyone who goes off in high school and fail. Okay. Now, I kind of went back because I wanted to see did she tell us the reason why she goes like you know has so many like always like you know is in the part-time job or like is earning money. Now, this gives me like i don't know like a thought that as i said like she probably has some reason why she is always in a part time job she needs money probably because of something that's why she is in part time job and like you know like that's why she can't go to school and doesn't go to school so i think this was a big reason why maybe she had problems in school actually become, like you know making friends and you know like she probably went to school like after like part time jobs like skipped school this and that and she probably went to school and saw a lot of people you know just slacking off doing nothing and failing which which is something that probably rubbed her the wrong way which is pretty what can i say normal because she has been just you know like i think you know this is all my thought this is all my like you know uh guess like since she always like you know is always busy tries to like you know is working hard and also going to school doing this doing that seeing someone else having the privilege of not getting a part time job and just slacking off and wasting their time in high school doing nothing probably just rubbed him her the wrong way 
and you know that's why she is saying that yeah i want to show everyone that especially those people who goofs off on high schools and fails that you can like you know even if you have so many part-time jobs you can ace everything and just you know like win not win sorry <laughs> and pass and i want to show them so this is the thing now i'm that's why i'm saying i was saying that she probably has some bigger reason uh why she's always doing these part-time jobs this and that and that's why like you know like that's that's and that's also the reason why she said that i like you to of two of you guys because you are honest you know you are not like those people who are superficial who tries to blend in with the crowd like honestly speaking not only yeah not only high school but most of the places you actually need to like you know that the main quality that you need to have is blending in with the crowd you know especially when you go and step into the adult world and as i said like this is also in high school as well you need to have that skill blending in with the crowd and just saying yes to everything you know just going along with the flow that's the thing that's why a lot of people who doesn't like that who wants you know like people who i, I don't know who, who are just quiet and like you know always doesn't uh, participate in most of the stuff tries to be alone introverted people they they that's why they are usually singled out you know because they don't want usually usually i'm talking about a usual like you know like scenario usually they don't want to actually blend in and go with the flow like you know just goofing around with your friends just because like just because they found a joke funny you are also like laughing that's the thing like that's the thing that they want to don't want to do and mari is probably that girl you know like she hates blending in with the crowd so that's why she, when she saw shirase and um uh, uh what's her name hinata <laughs> shirase and hinata you know being so honest about everything and you know like that's why they have less friends they you know they, they're just with them they're kind of like the lone wolf and hinata is also kind of like that because she only has like one friend that girl megumi i think that was her name um so that's why you know like that's why she said that i i really liked you guys because i saw that you are not similar to them you are honest and you are open you don't blend you know, try to actively blend with the crowd so that's genuine and that's what she liked and as i said that's probably because of her own circumstances because <coughs> she must have has have some circumstances because that's why she's like you know doing all this part time this and that and that's why she appreciated shirase and hinata more because they they are more like her okay anyways enough about her that was that and then they go to kabikucho where now here i was kind of confused i was like why are they here no why are they in kabikucho and like obviously like if, if people like if police saw them like they're high schoolers at night in kabukicho obviously they're going to get arrested not arrested but they're going to be taken to the police station and they're probably their guard guardian or their like you know their parents would be called and <laughs> that's not good so yeah and then i realized what was actually happening the antarctic expedition informal meetup was actually happening here like I was like, wait a minute, the expedition, like the 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 meetup is happening in Kabukicho at night. What like what type of a thing is that? And I don't know why they tried to like you know why they made this place like the main like you know gathering place, meetup place. I don't know why they could have chosen any other place, but I don't know. Maybe it's cheaper here or something. I'm not sure, but like I I don't know. But anyways, um. But you know what? Yeah, I guess they're all adults. Like they can easily like you know come here. I I guess like you know like Shirase and all of them being here was the exceptional thing. Like they're 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 teenagers. They shouldn't be here at the first place. They shouldn't be trying to get into an Antarctic expedition because they're high schoolers. So yeah, probably that's why. Like you know they were like yeah, let's do it in Kabukicho. <clears throat> but all right. So yeah, and then she was like, okay. <laughs> The, the plan that Shirase comes up with is like she she wants to actually i'm i don't know like like, like talk with some some of the some probably some male expedition member uh as she said seduce him and try to get in into the uh, meetup which was a very bad idea obviously 
and um the, the there's like these two ladies who come out who instantly recognize Shiyase because she probably had come here before as well trying to get into the expedition and <laughs> they were like yeah let's, let's just try and catch them and then the whole chase scene scene happens <laughs> that <laughs> everyone was running this this direction that direction you know like my god <laughs> and Hinata is like oh this is youth <laughs> I'm leaving my youth <laughs> my god this Hinata's a daredevil like I, I could say that like she she doesn't care like she she as long as she's like living her youth she doesn't care about anything and I have to say that's kind of impressive for a girl like her who who was even scared to actually bounce school like you know like <laughs> that's kind of impressive like it's like a duality in her like you know personality where she's afraid to take that one step but she's also excited to be in that position like damn <laughs> okay um and then like you know they catch them and these two person were i think like these two ladies who were running behind them i think they were uh, they were I'm, I'm guessing they are expedition members you know and she's and she also said that you guys are like you know having problem with funding here you go one million yen i can be the sponsor uh take me with us uh take us with you and I, I then realized that okay that's why she needed that one million yen not for i i thought that one million yen was probably because of some other reason you know maybe uh, they need to give that as like uh i don't know some kind of a uh, admission fee or something <laughs> i thought it was something like that but no this is not something that was required but something that she was actually uh, saving because she wanted to sponsor them otherwise they wouldn't take her because that's what she thought and that's why she was saving that one million yen it makes a lot more sense because like had like i don't know like one million yen even for antarctica um yeah it seems a bit too much for one person you know so <laughs> it makes more sense now like she was actually uh trying to save this because she wanted to sponsor them because they're having problem with funding and in hopes that they take her with them and uh, okay and then there was like this weird flashback where there's like there were kind of i don't know like a snowstorm like takako takako someone was screaming i don't know what that was i'm sure we'll get to know later on but uh they talk about like you know when when shiras and the group leaves they start talking about like you know the past she says that it has been three years um which was probably she was probably referring to that flashback okay and the other girl says i will really okay with the funding she says that i told you before it might be tough but i have a lot of ideas in comes another lady in with sunglasses her name is Shirai Ishii. I don't know who she is, but we'll probably get to know in the future. And I don't know, maybe she's like she's going to sponsor them or something. She looks like she probably looks like someone who <laughs> who is here for that reason, you know, to sponsor them or something. I don't know. We'll have to wait. And then in the in the train, they were like talking about all the other stuff. They were like. Yeah, you are. <laughs> she, she, they were, to Shira, uh, to Shira said they were like, yeah, you are not fit to be a leader. This and that, <laughs> having fun. And then we see the other girl, the fourth girl, I think, who are going to join us. But yeah, that was it. And uh, that was this episode. Uh, again, a great episode. Uh, we're kind of getting ready to go to Antarctica. We know how to go there. We need to go to Australia first, and then you know board the Shira and all the other stuff will come later on. But for now, we need to actually get more money and actually convince them. Uh, so yeah, we'll have to see. So anyways, that was it. Thank you guys for watching. This was my reaction to uh, A Place Further Than The Universe, episode number two. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. And comment down below anything you want to say. Anything you want to let me know, I'll check them out. So yeah, that's it guys. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys uh, next week with another episode of A Place Further Than The Universe. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.